Welcome to Screen Masters. That's what it feels like watching some of these, these lives from, from Bassmaster Elites, from the Opens, from some of the MLF stuff. But, you know, I'm in a weird predicament. I love fishing off my board facing and I personally enjoy it. I actually like watching some of the lives because you see how these guys kind of manipulate the baits, how they're maybe approaching things different, different rod actions they'll do. But I know one thing that I've heard from a lot of my buddies, actually like two in particular, they're like, I'm never watching another like live segment from MLF or from bass ever again. It is the most boring thing, staring at the backs of these anglers, go on and on, staring down at the screen, and, and never like talking, never fishing a structure. Maybe they got something on the screen. So what I'm kind of wondering about, and I want to throw this question into your department, and I'm going to kind of throw my two cents on it, is what do you guys think? Have you stopped watching the, the lives? I love the lives because it's, it's raw information. You know, one of my biggest complaints with pro fishing is how much maybe they're not lying, but they're shadowy and not direct. And one of the nice things is the live has really alleviated that. It gives you sort of a direct portal into the day, into the water. It's not like the, the post edited show that you're watching on ESPN or on TV. It, it's the raw kind of in the moment. It's what we all experience when we're on the water. We're like, dude, I smashed them. But that means you had like 20 minutes of pure joy and like 10 hours of freaking searching around struggling. But that's why I like the lives, but it's really, I'm not gonna lie, even me personally, somebody who, who enjoys this forward facing and how much information and how you can get these, the, these fish to interact and do different things with those baits using that forward facing, like my active target too. It is a little tough to watch what these guys are doing because in a lot of contexts, there's very little rhyme or reason to some of them catching fish. They're just hunting around, you know, open water looking for these suspended fish floating around. So number one question for you is, are you guys going to keep watching lives or are you disgusted by watching guys back staring down at screens? That's number one. Number two, is there a value in watching these guys do it? Because I don't think you can ever turn back the clocks. So in reality, I think this is the direction fishing is gonna go. You're, like we're all staring at screens more. And if you're not, you're going to be in a couple years because the product is going to become cheaper and more accessible. So is this just the direction we're gonna go? Or is this going to create such a backlash for bass, for MLF, that they're going to have to modify, you know, some of it's getting extreme, like mounting multiple transducers on the back of your boat or on the side of your boat to scan while you're idling and stuff like that. Are they gonna say, hey, here's a limit. You know, the sky is not the limit in this. We need to put a line where this is where we're gonna kind of put the governor on, kind of like they do in NASCAR and that, where there's certain limits, certain restrictors that everyone needs to live by. And then everybody lives under that umbrella of rules because there, there's a whole nother aspect to this too. You know, the fishing is a sport concept. It's such a back and forth thing. It's a pastime, it's a hobby. When it comes to tournaments, it, it's a sport, it's a competition. But when it comes to fishing, watching lives, watching, I mean, you guys watch my YouTube channel, you know, you're trying to get tips. I hope some of it's kind of entertaining too. You know, it's kind of fun, we're having a good time. And that's one of the concepts that the bass and MLF are looking to provide. Not only are they showing you different techniques, how to catch fish, showing you competition, but one of the big components that drives views, which then drives their ad revenues, that's how these guys make money, how these, these big tournament companies make money is people wanna place ads on their stuff, they wanna show their products because they're getting viewership, and that's engagement and entertainment. And one of the things, you know, good, bad, evil or not, evil, that they're really losing by all this Screen Masters action is that entertainment value. You know, you don't have sort of like, like the layout here, you know, we're up on a dock, there's a bank, there's probably spawning fish out there because it's Florida, dude, and they're swimming around all over shallow. You're losing that sort of, that tangible in front of you sort of instinctual fishing that we're so used to seeing, especially in spring. A lot of these tournaments have been in spring, dude, and we're not seeing a single guy on the bank. Like half the top tens, if not more, are coming from guys out there in open water drifting around. And that's one of the big questions I have. It's not so much, I guess you'd say, if they don't do anything, if there isn't a change in the way they approach like the, the screen aspect of it, 
is it gonna lose that entire entertainment value? And there's gonna be no reason for viewers to watch and it's solely gonna become about competition. Cause here's the other angle. And this is just a reality check for everybody. If you're not playing Screen Masters, if you're not staring at that screen, you're not competing. So these anglers are in a catch 22. They, these tournament organizations want entertainment. They want things that are engaging to, to us as anglers to watch. But these guys, in order to win and in order to compete, they need to be eyes down on that screen. And that's that's just reality, dude. There's, there's no way to play around with it. There's a wealth of fish offshore. I don't even think we've tapped into the, the entire sort of dynamic of it. There's so many bizarre things these fish do that, you know, Al Lindler and Old In Fisherman never told us they did. And until we actually saw them on that, that, you know, that visual aquarium that we have on the front of the boat, we didn't know they were doing it. And there's more secrets to be unearthed, uh, revealed as we move forward. Scare all the fish away. So I guess that's kind of the quandary we're in. I love technology. I love things moving forward and developing. And I'm always a firm believer that you can never put a stop on things. You can't stop development. You can't say, hey, quit it. It just doesn't work. Things always move forward. That's the beauty of being a human person, dude. We're always moving forward. We're always developing. We're always growing. So I don't know if you can really put the brakes on something like this. I don't even know if you know it would be good in competition to put the brakes on it, like putting limits on stuff. My, I guess it comes down to my question for you is one, are you, are you watching? Are you sick of staring at these anglers, these pro anglers backs? Is it entertaining? Do you take something away from it? Do you think it's something that you want to watch? Um, do you think there's a limit? Do you think there should be a limit? I think that's the biggest question that's really the most apparent right now is should there be a limit on what these guys can do with the screens, how many they can have and, and how they can approach things? Because really that entertainment value, at least from what I've heard from a lot of my buddies, is, is going down the toilet. I'll still watch because I like seeing what they do, but it's definitely a lot less interesting than it was say two, four, five years ago when you're watching the lives. But I wanted to throw that out there, just my two cents and you know my little soapbox, but I really want your opinion drop it down in the comments box dude we're gonna wrap this thing up go do a little fishing probably stare at the screen a little hit that like and subscribe button for me we'll see you back out on the water talking fishing talking screens maybe doing some screen masters